Hello all. Welcome to part 7 of JavaScript for beginners series. In this session, I am going to practically show you how to run the JavaScript code using node.js. So, let's get started. First of all, we will download and install node.js in our machine. For that, I'll open this new tab and search for download node.js like this. You'll get the this particular link in the search results that is download node.js which is pointing out to the download page of node.js so let's click on this you will be taken to this download page where you can download the node.js not only for windows but also for the mac or other operating systems that are available here but my machine has windows os so i will select to download the 64 bit version of this windows installer having this dot msi file okay let me select this 64 bit you see the node.js for windows machine is getting downloaded here so let's wait for it to finish up the download as you can see the node.js that is 64 bit version for windows os has been successfully downloaded here let me select to show in folder so that we can see the msi file i'll double click on this msi file in a while, you will see this kind of installation wizard getting appeared. Let's click on the next button. I'll select the license agreement and click on next. And here we have the place where this node.js will be installed in my machine. Click on next again. Again, click on next. Okay, so I don't want any other things. I'll, I'll go with the default one, guys. Okay, I will not choose anything until they are required. So I'm not selecting this checkbox. Clicking on next, I'll simply select install. In a while, the node.js will be successfully installed in our machines. So let's wait. As you can see, the installation of the node.js has been completed in my machine. Now I'll simply click on this finish button. Okay, it's done. Now what we have to do here is let's open or launch the Visual Studio Code. So I'll search here for the Visual Studio Code and launch it the simplest manner fine once the visual studio code is launched here so here what we can do here is uh, i'll just click on this terminal guys okay i'll just click on this terminal i'll say new terminal okay i can see the terminal here and you can here i can execute the node.js commands so before running any javascript code let me create a javascript uh, file guys okay here under this vs the files folder that we have created earlier in my machine. I'll just create a new JavaScript file, say demo.js, okay? So th the name of the file is demo and the extension is JS that stands for JavaScript. Let's click here. And here I'll just uh, write some basic JavaScript code. Let's say console.log. This was a simplest statement, right? I'll just write some simplest statement in JavaScript. And in the double quotes, I'll just give my name, say Arun Motori. That's it. Okay, so I'm not going to write any more JavaScript statements. This is a simple sample JavaScript file having a sample JavaScript statement. Okay, so when we run this code, guys, this uh, Arun Motori should get uh, printed in the output. That's what is the purpose of this line, anyhow, you know. Now, how to run this? Okay, till now we were running this JavaScript using the with the help of HTML and all. Okay, either the JavaScript file is separated or you are writing the JavaScript code inside the same HTML file but you are using HTML to run the JavaScript code. But now I am going to remove that dependency where we can create the separate JavaScript files and can run them with the help of node.js, okay? How to run this JavaScript file then from this Visual Studio code? So here guys, uh, we can type something, okay? We can type node space, the name of the file. What is the name of this JavaScript file? demo.js, which is at the VSC files location only. This file is at the VSC files location. So already we have the path uh, to the VSC files. Here I'll type the command node space, the name of the JavaScript file that I want to run using the node.js, okay? I'll simply say demo.js and simply press enter, guys. The moment I press enter, guys, you see the JavaScript code has been executed and whatever the output that has to be printed, got printed here, Arun Motori, okay? So this is how, guys, uh, we can download and install node.js and using the node.js, we are running the JavaScript files. So for the next few sessions, we are going to use the same node.js to run the JavaScript files.
fine. So hope guys you understood how to run the JavaScript code using the node.js. So that's it guys. See you in the next video session. Thank you. Bye.